Hello and welcome back to SpeedyNet, where the chairman, the CEO, the president uh, has kind of gotten a cold because a lovely autumn is here and yeah, I totally got a cold. So if you hear me sniffing, coughing, sneezing and whatever, um, that's the cold and uh, my apologies in advance. Now, moving on. This is the satellite satellite network of or satellite satellite whatever um, network of SpeedyNet. It's small, tiny, yet it shows great potential. And of course, you know the main network being over here, we are of course going to hook this up, you know, to this flow of veins that we got over here. However. Uh, last time we left off, we built this incredibly ugly, incompetent, inefficient uh, set of tracks here. We totally need to redo that, and we will. Now, the fault of this is the station over here, which is way too close to the town. Should have been way back here, but hey, <laughs> you know, uh, it isn't right now. So, what we would need to do is build the station, like, more over here. And then have it be going around the town like this. Now, the problem with that is that, uh, you know, this very failed attempt, you know, has kind of pissed off uh, Great Woodington, which isn't really that great, <laughs> with only 629 inhabitants. But yeah, they don't like us so much. And uh, if we go to the local authority, you can see that we're in appalling standings with them. So, I what I hope is that um, the new station being all the way over here is far, far away from uh, Great Woodington. And I hope their influence uh, doesn't go as far as over here. But, <laughs> well, I guess the only way to find out <laughs> is if to build the actual station. Now, I don't know, but it seems that, yeah, there's a slope over here. Which is going to cause issues, and what we would need to... Wait, what? Look at this. Look at the smoke of the sugar refinery. Do you see that? Over here. Wow, that's odd, man. <laughs> Render issues. Anyway, um, this is a kind of an issue because already we're climbing hills that I don't really want to. And if we put it up on this high bit, I feel like we're going to climb unnecessary hills. So... Yeah, we're gonna have to do terraforming, just to... Uh, wow, well, we could also heighten it up, because if we do the terraform, we'll have to terraform all the way around. And <laughs> I don't wanna do that either. So... I guess what we'll do is... Now, we, you know what we'll do? We will leave the station at this height, so we'll terraform just the station, and then the tracks could be higher. Yeah, good! Well then, uh, I think there's no time to be wasted, so let's get this station in a proper shape. Alright, that's looking a lot better. Now, we have sacrificed one depot over there, but that's kind of okay. So, next 
thing is that we need to get some of our livestock over there. Now, I do wonder, like, we got 18 coming from over there, and then, ooh, 36 from over here. That's quite good. How are the supplies doing? You should be the one carrying supplies. You're not. Why, why are you not carrying supplies? Oh, <laughs> I see. This is kind of her derp really, but um, so we're sending it to the coal mine, uh, which is uh, or the grain mill, which is over here, where all our supplies are being stored. However, we have only set it to refit to oil once, and then that's it. Now, somebody mentioned in the comments that there is the option to auto refit. However. Not for this train. So, yeah, we're gonna have to set the orders manually, and I'll uh, quickly go about and restore, uh, or rather, fix our orders. So, there we go. Right, that should fix it, more or less, hopefully, so, and actually, I think, no, it will still, no, we should do these new orders right away, so, next time, we should see them farm supplies being transferred. Anyway, um, I'll quickly go about and uh, set up the uh, gathering of livestock over here, and the proper tree. Alrighty, so now that we are moving uh, sugar beet and livestock over to that place, the only thing really is that is left now is some uh, proper expansion. Now, um, there's two ways we can expand ourselves. One is to further extend our uh, network of farm supplies. The other is to start hooking up all sorts of towns to the network. I think we should... Uh, do the latter and we will probably start out with um, Well, we got something going over there So why don't we make this station also accepting passengers and then um, We will hook it up towards this station I think that's a sound plan so we will get to doing just that Oh, maybe we won't. <laughs> right, so this town is uh, being a pain in the behind. Um, my plan was to kind of like have, uh, you know, these three towns be hooked up and then to this station. Seeing how we kind of can't build the pickup part over here for, uh, you know, this town. Well, I guess what... We'll no, I don't want this station to also accept passengers. So, we are going to change it and uh, what we're gonna do, because we'll, right now we have to kind of wait till Great Woodington uh, comes to see the glory and, well, greatness of SpeedyNet and um, we'll have to wait till they kind of accept us building near their town again. So, in the meanwhile, we're gonna do different things and the whole hooking up of passengers will happen at a later date. For now though, we do have a docks over here, which is very, very fortunate because we also have two quarries over here. I see one and one making two, don't you?
Alright. Now, the choice is upon us to choose which ship we're going to take. And, um, <laughs> right, I mean, this was quite simple before. But right now, I have... No honest clue, really. Now, there's a lot of ships we can choose from. Just look at this. I mean, we're talking about not that much stone. So, yeah, what would be appropriate? <laughs> I mean, this clearly seems too much. Uh, we could go with this, though. That has even more capacity. Maybe this, or perhaps... No, 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 no. no. That's the, the way too small. <laughs> That's like... This is overshooting it by way too much. I guess we could go with this one or even that one. Though, I mean, the thing is that this wind jammer. Now that's a freaking nice ship. It has just no, actually it hasn't. I mean, the capacity is even on that one is still too big. We want to be looking at something like this perhaps a little bit bigger which would have us be uh, like somewhere around the merchant man I want to have a little bit of over capacity so we're gonna go with the uh, with the Tiskabul Tiskabukta freighter right yeah that one you know <laughs> diesel and that's what's count so yeah uh, it will probably be a little bit too much capacity for it but Ah, well, you know, I, I guess it's better to have a little bit too much than have, be lacking a little bit of capacity. So, yeah, it's gonna be this one. And uh, we'll quickly set it up. Alright, so right now we will be getting a little bit more stone towards the lime kiln. It won't go very fast, but at least uh, there will be some stone going. Now, um, the next part of the plan over here, since passengers is a no-go for the moment, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and hook up the next set of farms and now that we have ooh look look at this we have some farm supplies over here very very interesting now for the moment these farm supplies will pretty much only go over here I believe because is that true is that the case you what do you carry I think you're a covered wagon, aren't you? Yeah, you carry farm supplies. Very good. However, the thing is that right now, um, all the farm supplies are being transferred to the station. So, I guess what we would need to do is to somehow uh, add in another order over here. Not on you. Where is the combo train? I think it's you actually, yeah. Uh, we need to somehow add in another set of orders where this train is uh, unloading goods uh, rather than transferring, so it's also putting it towards those two farms. So yeah, we still got quite a ways of uh, work ahead of us. Right, and that's that sorted. So right now, what we should see is a hefty increase in production for all of these farms. I also wonder... Yeah, alright, so... <laughs> the production of uh, farm supplies is... Uh, well, vastly... Well, vastly, I wouldn't exactly say, but... Is outpacing uh, the use of it uh, over here in this corner, luckily. So, what we then need to do is hook up the next batch of farms and looking at it, 
We're most likely gonna do that right over here. I mean, this is just a group of three farms, all quite productive, I might add. Which I think would benefit greatly from our, uh, well, you know, our um, farming network that we're trying to set up here. Now you have, <laughs> oh man, yeah, we, we've gone way overboard with the capacity over here and you never ever will make a profit, but, ah well, 190 tons and there's only, well, um, maybe we would need to gather a little bit, no we don't, <laughs> there's only 53 tons waiting, yeah, that's way over capacity. But it's cool, you know, we have this ship now. Um, yeah, so we're gonna hook up these farms here. And I guess the best way to do that would be to create a junction over here, which will piss off Great Weddington even further than it already is. So passengers over here, that's going to be a long project, you know, but eventually, <laughs> one day, we're gonna get that. For now though, let's hook up these farms.
so we got the bases set up here. However, over here we will see an quite a lot of materials uh, waiting and well I know there's at least the grain and that needs to go over here but we don't have any milk so it's only the grain that would need to go there and to just build a separate train for one farm producing grain I think that that might be slightly overdoing it so wait what great wedding stone Oh, that's... That's... Oh, <laughs> I thought for a moment that was over here, but this is Woodington rather than Weddingston. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, um, what I was saying is that I think that building a separate train just for one grain station is completely overkill. Now, I do wonder... I don't think we have a train going from this station towards this station. So, what I'm thinking is that well, what we could do, of course, is just tag on a grain locomotive to, or a, a few grain wagons to a train that happens to be passing by in this direction anyway. Which should be like, uh, ooh, actually, there is a train which carries stone, which you accept. And that very train could also make a visit over here and deliver some grain. Ha! Huh. Hey, clever, isn't it? Alrighty then. So, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move everything over here and then the grain is going to be moved from here towards over here. Albeit with a little bit of a deviation, uh, that does mean, however, though, that this junction is set up completely the wrong way. So. Let me quickly fix that. Actually, coming to think of it, later on, when we will be adding passengers, we will need this very junction to be where it is right now. So, in fact, it doesn't need to be removed, we can just leave it and it will be just unused. I think that, you know, it's not that well, large pieces of track, so I guess it isn't that bad to leave it out there for now. <laughs> it's not ideal though, and I should have paid more attention, but, ah uh, well. Now then, uh, let's fix up this junction so it does go into the right direction. sudden just as I launched this train I'm thinking about something that I hadn't thought of before but that is kind of an issue and a slight oversight on my end see we need to bring the grain over here towards uh, this grain mill but this also happens to be the central place where all our farm supplies are being stored I also need those farm supplies of course and they are I'm not going to move those from the grain mill to over here via very difficult contraptions and whatnot. So uh, this train over here right now carrying a full load uh, or at least <laughs> almost a full load 
Um, this is gonna be the last time it will uh, travel in this combination, really. Also, uh, I think I might have overloaded it just a little bit too heavily. Uh, we'll quickly see that at the climb it's gonna make here, but... Um, what we're gonna do is, we are, after all, going to make a separate train to deliver the grain over here. And that very train is also going to carry back some farm supplies. So, yeah, <laughs> a bit of a bad on my end, but... Ah, well, um, well, we'll survive. Anyway, how much stone do you carry right now? 84 tons. Which is like, I don't know, a little bit less than 40 or 50%. 40% something like that? Yeah, I guess. Right then, uh, the moment you've delivered your goods, of course, we're going to send you towards the depot. Unload, please. And now, how much did you make us? Oh, <laughs> wow, look at that. Complicated finances, I tell you. Anyway, you're gonna go back to the depot and we're gonna change this. Now, as you can see over here, we do have wool and plant fibers and they're waiting. However, we currently do not have a, a textile mill facility, so there's no real way for us to deal with the, uh, you know, with the plant fibers and the sugar beet and whatnot yet. That is gonna get there, but yeah, um, <laughs> we'll have to wait till we uh, we go more over here. Cause I do believe that is it. Yeah, look, that's the textile mill. Now, um, as far as expansion goes, well, um, we got all the farms pretty much over here. I know there is one farm over there, but that's just one straggler farm, and oh, it is quite productive, but see over here is a very nice and attractive looking cluster of farms, which is like the next thing, and that's also really close to the, uh, to the textile mill, so this would make like a very good point to hook up all the farms to. I mean, look at this as well, you know, all these farms, uh, well, at least, uh, not you, but this one and this one, and they're quite high up there. Well, actually, you're not, but <laughs> you're just close to a hill. Well, this textile mill is close to the water, so what we'll have probably have to do is build a station right next to it, and have the farms just hook up by road or something. But, um, what we also need is passengers, because this farm, and I don't, wouldn't mind hooking you up actually, but this farm, well, just on its own, it isn't worth hooking up to the train network. So, over here, we are gonna have to move passengers about, and right now, I'm instantly hating the fact that we're not in good standings with Great Woodington. So, what we're gonna have to do is, by the way, are you in the depot already? No, you're not. You're still on your way back, aren't you? Oh, you know, you're over here. Right. Uh, the grain needs to be gone. There. Alright, off you go then. Uh, anyway, um, what we need, we're probably going to do is we're gonna play eco uh, friends and we are going to be planting uh, some trees and not just some <laughs> but an absolute crap load of them just to become friends again with uh, Great Woodington as well as uh, oh no we actually don't need Buntworth to be friends with us because we already built the station very clever and foreseeing of us now, these towns over here, you know, Great Tanwell, uh, Flunfingford, or wait, what's it called? Yeah, Flunfingford, uh, Great Tranwell, and Fort Grartborn. <laughs> I mean, oh man, the name's crazy. Uh, as well as Pratt Hatton and Charwood. Because they're all like, you know, well, towns with a harbor and all that, what I'm thinking of doing is hooking those up by sea as well as uh well actually that's not a good idea because the, what i had in mind was hooking those up to the train network over here again however how many 
you don't really have that much inhabitants now, do you? No, you don't. Ah, uh, this, it probably isn't worth it to just hook these two up with, uh, by train. On the other hand, we do have a timber yard over there. We could hook up two towns with the station, uh, right in between over here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, the choice. What we would have to do, if we were to do that, we would have to somehow junction that up over here. And that's not gonna happen. So what's more likely is that these towns are all gonna be connected by harbor and we will probably have a station over here-ish which hooks up like, uh, you know, these three towns and this farm which then has a junction over here leading to a station close by to this town and this hotel and that will be the point where the harbor and the station is going to become one and we can oh yeah man that complicated stuff man first though let's get friends with great Woodington. Alright, well, I think well, right now we're in a much more decent standings. Of course, that will change instantly once we start building our, uh, our uh, road and depots over here. But we can build a few more trees around and they should still uh, keep to liking us. So, now what we need, we need to do it once and we need to do it right, right now. So, what we need to do is we would need a battery of passenger stations and a cargo station for any mail that we are going to move. So, having said that, um, yeah, all right. Uh, we will get to building now. Wait, what? Um. I know that we are not liked by them, but oh, I think I know what it is. <laughs> I think that right now, rather than a Great Woodington, uh, well, you know, deciding whether or not we can build there, right now it's Buntworth that we need to appeal with uh, three spam. <laughs> so, here, Buntworth, uh, please like us more now. <laughs> there, right. This should just about do it, I hope. Come on, Bundworth. There, very good. Right, I do think that right now we should all be good and clear to build our... Yeah, look, see, I thought as much. All right, we'll continue building. Wow, <laughs> we got quite the collection of passengers over there. Maybe it's time that we move those to and from, really. The thing is, though, currently they're all set without a destination. And what I don't really want is for these passengers to be just, well, uh, moved to and from, really. So we're going to have to be very carefully move all the passengers first uh, towards... Great Woodington is where we're gonna go. So we're gonna change this around really. And uh, we're not gonna put this to transfer. Uh, rather, we're going to just move everything over there. Uh, unload all. And no loading there. That should do it. Right. So it's time to get ourselves a train then.
All right. Having set that set up, um, we need to expand ourselves. However, we've been doing quite a bit of track building over here. I think we should uh, pay a little bit more attention to like uh, our naval development. For one, I have noticed an absolute crap load of uh, fishing grounds over here. And I wonder why we should not take any advantage of this. Um, However, first, uh, you know what, let's quickly get these towns at least hooked up to uh, their own little naval uh, connection so that we can at least move the passengers about and um, later on, we can, you know, once we start expanding even further over here, we can then hook everything up together and it will become all one great unity of, well, coolness. Oh, um, I just now recall though that there's also some work that I kind of forgot well didn't really finish over here look at the grain that's waiting oh and why do we have this much livestock is that because of well we we're kind of uh, lacking capacity to carry it all away that seems to be the case what is your capacity oh you can only carry just nine items really Right, so I might even have uh, made this a little bit too small then, huh? Yeah, most definitely seems to be the case. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send you to the depot. Uh, yeah, this one I hope. And then we will add like two more locom or two more livestock wagons, so that you can carry more. Right, cattle car there. And we'll put these right with the other ones. Good. Alright, uh, let's get us all some boots now for these towns. So we have a choice now of either you with your very very low passenger capacity or, and this is actually a rather interesting one, you with a much higher passenger capacity and a much lower cargo capacity. You're no option really for a passengers, nor are you, nor are you, but you this Labrador utility vessel might just be the ultimate solution for these very short, very, uh, well, you know, well, low, low number, low volume, uh, lines that we got over here. Now, you cost a lot less to run each year, though. You are quite expensive to run, so <laughs> we are gonna go with the schooner purely for the running cost. Though, this is interesting, look at this. Running cost, a lot more expensive. Dirt cheap to buy though. Quite expensive to buy, dirt cheap to run though. Uh, looking at the reliability though, you're starting to decline. Though, I mean, you're still up there, you know, you're being amazing. You are declining. Which is interesting, so we might have to switch to you eventually once the reliability drops to alarming numbers. But for now, uh, we're gonna go with the schooner, so there we go. Alright, there we are. We now got our uh, passenger lines up and running and I don't think it will make that much profit just yet. But in the long run, you know, it's all about providing destinations and I like it to be as complete as possible, you know, so that people can go anywhere, everywhere, whenever they want. And uh, I think so far that SpeedyNet is doing quite well with it and just look at this. Look at the beauty of this station and look at the absolute crazy number of materials waiting over here. <laughs> wow. Anyway, I think we did quite a 
good portion of work over here. We expanded. Uh, next time we'll expand more, but that and more all has to wait for next time when we play more Open TTD.